What is the best age to spay or neuter a Scottish Terrier? The decision to spay or neuter a pet is an important one for any responsible dog owner. By having your Scottish Terrier, also known as Scotty, spayed or neutered, you are not only preventing unwanted litters but also providing various health benefits. However, determining the best age to undergo this surgery is a question that many pet owners often have. In this article, we will explore the factors to consider when deciding the ideal age for spaying or neutering a Scottish Terrier. Firstly, it is essential to understand the difference between spaying and neutering. Spaying refers to the surgical removal of a female dog's reproductive organs, which includes the ovaries and uterus. Neutering, on the other hand, involves the surgical removal of a male dog's testicles. Both procedures are performed under general anesthesia by a licensed veterinarian. One factor to consider when deciding the right age for spaying or neutering a Scottish Terrier is their physical development. Generally, it is advised to wait until the dog has reached sexual maturity, which occurs around six to nine months of age. This allows the dog's growth plates to close and ensures that the skeletal system has properly developed before undergoing surgery. Waiting until sexual maturity can also prevent potential issues such as bone and joint problems, which may arise if the dog is neutered at a very young age. Another consideration is behavioral development. Male dogs tend to exhibit certain marking and territorial behaviors if they are not neutered. By neutering a male Scottish Terrier at an appropriate age, usually before they reach sexual maturity, these behaviors can be minimized or eliminated. Additionally, neutering male dogs can help reduce the risk of aggression and roaming tendencies. However, it is important to note that neutering will not completely eradicate all behavioral problems, especially if they are already deeply ingrained. When it comes to spaying a female Scottish Terrier, it is advisable to wait until after their first heat cycle. This usually occurs around six months of age, but can vary from dog to dog. Due to the hormonal changes that accompany the heat cycle, waiting until after the first cycle can help reduce the risk of certain health issues, such as memory tumors. However, the decision to perform the surgery before or after the first heat cycle should be made in consultation with a veterinarian who can assess the individual dog's health and circumstances. There are also some potential health benefits to consider when determining the best age to spay or neuter. For females, spaying before their first heat cycle significantly reduces the risk of developing mammary tumors. This risk increases if they undergo spaying after their first heat cycle. Spaying female dogs also eliminates the possibility of uterine infections, known as pyometra, which can be life-threatening. For males, neutering can prevent testicular cancer and lower the risk of prostate problems. Additionally, neutering eliminates the possibility of injuries from fights and running away to search for a mate. However, it is essential to note that there are also some potential health risks associated with spaying or neutering, such as urinary incontinence and an increased risk of certain cancers. These risks should be weighed against the benefits when making the decision. Lastly, it is crucial to consult with a veterinarian who has experience with Scottish Terriers. They can provide personalized advice based on the individual dog's health, temperament, and lifestyle. They will also be able to guide you through the surgery process and address any concerns or questions you may have. In conclusion, the best age to spay or neuter a Scottish Terrier depends on various factors, including physical and behavioral development, health risks, and individual circumstances. Waiting until the dog reaches sexual maturity, around six to nine months of age, is generally recommended. However, for females, it may be advisable to spay after their first heat cycle. Ultimately, Consulting with a veterinarian is imperative to make an informed decision that considers the dog's overall well-being.